Soundbars are great because they can save space and can be much cheaper than a full surround system. They also don't take over a room the way regular speakers do. But there's a lot to choose from, and some are better suited to different listening environments than others. So today we'll be sharing the best to help you decide which one might be best for your particular situation. Now, as always, I'll leave links to each of these products in the description below, so feel free to check them out there if you're interested. Also, if there are special deals or discount codes, I'll drop those down there as well. So if you're looking for the best overall soundbar on the market, then the Vizio V-Series 5.1 Home Theater Soundbar is the one you should get. It comes with a subwoofer and two rear satellite speakers for a more complete sound experience. Hands down, the Vizio V-Series is the best sounding soundbar we've tested at the less than $200 price range. And it's all thanks to a combination of great audio performance, a well-designed subwoofer, and the satellites that create an amazing soundstage. Audio is always loud and clear with a maximum sound pressure level of 96 decibels and a frequency range of 50 to 20 kilohertz. The subwoofer also does a great job of providing extra low-end oomph without being too overbearing. The satellite provides an added sense of space and directionality to the audio. You also get access to your choice of voice assistants, Siri, Google, or Alexa. So you can use your voice to control the soundbar, which is always a convenient feature to have. Another thing that we loved about this soundbar is that you'll find no shortage of connectivity options. There's Bluetooth, HDMI, USB, Wi-Fi, and even a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. This means that you can use it with practically any kind of audio input device. If we have to be picky, the only thing we didn't like about the Vizio V-Series is that it doesn't support Atmos content and Google Chromecast. These features would have made it an even better soundbar, but it's still an excellent option as is. Also, if you want to save a little bit of money, or if you're working with limited space, you can forego the two rear satellite speakers and just get the soundbar with the subwoofer. You'll still get awesome audio, it just won't be quite as immersive as the 5.1 setup. Overall, the Vizio V-Series is the best soundbar you can buy right now. We confidently recommend it to anyone looking for the best combination and best value, as well as the best possible audio experience when it comes to soundbars. It's that good. Next up is our best budget pick soundbar, which is no other than the Sony S100F. For less than $100, you get access to one of Sony's new lineup of high quality and affordable soundbars. And in our testing, we found that it really delivers on that front. Unlike the Vizio V-Series, the S100F is a single speaker unit, but don't let its appearance fool you, because inside, you'll find two driver speakers, a built-in tweeter, and a bass reflex speaker. These all work together to give the soundbar a really full and rich sound and it also gets pretty loud too, with a peak output of 120 watts. Now, what truly amazes us with this soundbar is that even though it has no external subwoofer or satellite speakers, it still manages to provide a great surround sound experience. And this is all thanks to Sony's S-Force Pro front virtual surround sound experience. Also, the fact that it's just one device means that it's very easy to set up and use. All you have to do is plug it in and connect it to your audio source and it's good to go. There's no complicated setup and the soundbar comes with a remote for added convenience. The S100F also comes with Bluetooth, so you can wirelessly stream audio from your phone or other devices. You also get a standard USB port, so you can play music directly from a flash drive. Design-wise, this soundbar is sleek, elegant, and ultimately looks great in any room. And at just under 10 inches tall, it's also pretty compact, which is perfect for smaller spaces. Of course, given its compact design and low price point, some compromises had to be made. For one thing, the S100F only has two channels as opposed to the 5.1 channels offered by other soundbars in this list. This means that you won't get the same level of surround sound immersion with this soundbar. Another thing to note is that you cannot connect the S100F to an external subwoofer. Fortunately, the bass on this soundbar is also pretty good. But if you're looking for that extra low-end thump, then this might not be the soundbar for you. But ultimately, the Sony S100F is the best budget soundbar you can buy right now. It's compact, easy to use, and it sounds great. So if you're looking for an affordable soundbar that doesn't compromise on quality, this is the one to get. For less than $100, you won't find any other soundbar that can match the S100F's quality and audio performance. Next up is our best soundbar for dialogue, which is the Sonos Arc soundbar. It's specifically designed to deliver clear and concise dialogue, thanks to its proprietary speech enhancement technology. While speech enhancement is not anything new with soundbars, the one on the Sonos Arc is unique in that it was tuned and developed with the help of Oscar-winning sound engineer Chris Jenkins. You might be familiar with his work on movies like Out of Africa, The Last of the Mohicans, and Mad Max. The result is a soundbar that does an excellent job of reproducing dialogue even at low volumes. We also like that the Sonos Arc is one of the most versatile soundbars on the market. It supports Adobe Atmos, AirPlay 2, and Amazon's Alexa Voice Assistant. This means you can use it with just about any streaming service or smart home device. In terms of audio quality, the Sonos Arc is pretty impressive. It features 11 high-performance drivers that provide a wide soundstage. This means you'll be able to hear sounds coming from all around you which is perfect for movies and TV shows with lots of action. You'll have no trouble filling a large room with sound. 
It's pretty loud too, with a peak output of 115 decibels. Now there are a few downsides to this soundbar. One is that you're limited to only one HDMI input. This means you can't connect more than one device to the soundbar. There's also no support for Bluetooth, which is odd considering that Bluetooth has become a fairly common feature for soundbars in the market. You'll have to rely on your Ethernet or Wi-Fi connection to stream audio content wirelessly. One other important thing that you should know about the Sonos Arc soundbar is that it belongs to a wider family of Sonos products. This means that you can easily expand its functionality by adding another Sonos speaker, such as a subwoofer or rear speakers, to create a better surround sound experience. Still, even by itself, the Sonos Arc soundbar is the best soundbar you can buy if you're looking for clear and concise dialogue. It also delivers excellent sound quality and it's very versatile. If you don't mind the lack of Bluetooth and only having one HDMI input, then the Sonos Arc is the perfect soundbar for you. Now, let's say you're looking for the best soundbar for movies. If so, then you'll want to get the Bose Smart Soundbar 900. This soundbar is packed with features that make it ideal for movie lovers. First, the sound quality is superb, and the surround sound effect is truly immersive thanks to its Dolby Atmos support. The soundbar also uses Bose True Space Spatial Processing technology to create a wider soundstage and create an enveloping audio experience for users. The result is a soundbar that sounds awesome for watching movies no matter where you're sitting in a room. Another feature that would make this soundbar perfect for movie lovers is its built-in Bluetooth connectivity. This allows you to wirelessly stream audio from any compatible device, making it easy to watch movies and TV shows from your favorite streaming devices, may that be your TV, smartphone, tablet, or even your laptop. As an added bonus, the Bose Smart Soundbar 900 also supports voice assistant, although you're only limited to Google and Alexa. This is still a great feature to have as you can use it to control your smart home devices, play music, and even ask for information. If we have to mention a downside of this soundbar, it would be the lack of physical inputs. There's an ARC port for connecting to a TV and an Adapt IQ port used for room audio calibration via the special headset that the soundbar comes with. There's no full HDMI port, so you won't be able to use this soundbar as an HDMI hub, nor can you connect it directly to certain devices like a game console. So overall, the Bose Smart Soundbar 900 is the best soundbar that you can get for movies. It has fantastic sound quality, and it comes with features that are perfect for movie lovers. Last but not least is our pick for the best soundbar for music, which is no other than the JBL Bar 9.1. This soundbar is a bit different from the other soundbars on our list, as it's a true 9.1 channel system. The setup consists of nine speakers, which include four up-firing speakers, two front-firing, two rear surround speakers, and a wireless subwoofer. The result is a mind-blowing, rich and detailed audio experience that will make you feel like you're in a music theater. The JBL Bar 9.1 also supports Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, which means that you'll be able to enjoy object-based audio with compatible content. The speakers on the soundbar have a neutral sound signature with well-balanced mids and highs. The bass is deep and punchy, but not overwhelming. Of course, you can also choose and customize the EQ presets on the soundbar and adjust the subwoofer level to match whatever music genre you're listening to. Now, one feature that we particularly love that made us choose the JBL Bar 9.1 as the best soundbar for music is the room correction function, which uses the built-in mics to analyze the acoustics of your room and optimize the sound output accordingly. This results in a much more customized and accurate audio experience. The only downside to this soundbar that we could think of is the size and the fact that you'll have to deal with multiple speaker units. But if you're looking for the best possible music experience and are willing to make some sacrifices in terms of size and complexity, then the JBL Bar 9.1 is the perfect soundbar for you. So that wraps up our list of the best soundbars to buy in 2022. We hope that you found this video helpful in finding the perfect soundbar for your needs. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have as best we can. And while you're down there, also let us know what other products you're currently on the hunt for. Our team would love to help you on that search too. What should we cover in future videos? And of course, if you enjoyed our video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click on the notification bell. We've got lots more videos coming your way, so we look forward to seeing you next time. Till then, stay awesome. Bye!